Welcome back to the channel. Last night I worked on the charger, got the trunk all lined up, got it all welded together. It is now 100% one piece. Before I left, I filled everything with some Duraglass. So what I'm gonna do today, grind the Duraglass down. There's also some Duraglass in there I need to grind down, but get this all ground down and then I could skim it with some body filler and get it 100% molded in and ready in the same shape as the quarter panels and then just kind of blend this area in. What I really like is it kind of follows the edge of this, I think these are D pillars, and then it just kind of fades away to the centers. I really, really like that, how it looks, how it came out, and uh, I just can't wait to see it painted. But before that happens, I also need to take all this paint down and uh, just grind it all off, bare metal. Same thing on the trunk, pull the tail lights out. I don't need those anymore. All that stuff is lined up now. I'm really happy that it, I took my time to get it all lined up and get all the body lines how they should be. Another thing, when I put the hatch struts on, I know it's gonna be very different because the hatch is gonna be made out of carbon fiber. So it's gonna be a lot lighter. But the issue that I'm seeing is when I put the hatch struts on, how the Magnum hatch struts go, they bolt on up here, then they bolt on up here, and it wants to push the hatch, when it's all the way closed, it wants to push the hatch a quarter inch back, a quarter inch up, which I do have some adjustment, but the carbon fiber hatch is gonna be a lot lighter. So those hatch struts probably need to go. I need to get some softer ones. I'm not sure if it's gonna do the same thing, um, but I don't wanna, I don't want, to body work the hatch in there and then you know have this thing all painted have the carbon fiber hatch put some hatch struts on it and then it's still out of whack so i need to kind of look into that during this video and uh, kind of see if i could resolve this issue maybe move the hatch around a little bit with the struts get it 100 percent lined up with the the really strong ones and then just kind of go from there because we do have quite a bit of adjustment in this hinge up here and then on the hinge on the trunk down there so Shouldn't have any issues adjusting it. Tail lights should still line up perfectly. And uh, because when it does have the hatch shut, so it just pushes it back just a quarter inch. So everything should still be fine if I push it up a quarter inch and then pull it down a little bit. But let's get to work grinding this Duraglass down and get all this stuff ready to be skimmed, ready to be primered, and just kind of go from there. <laughs>
finished DAing all of the panels on the car so they're ready pretty much for high build. Need to actually finish, me and Josh are working on this back here. I uh, finished welding the trunk up and then he is body working the hatch slash trunk, which it's almost, it's getting pretty close. Um, the roof up there still needs to be attended to, but um, this rail has a nice skim on it. All these doors look like they're pretty good. On the driver door, I actually found a few more dings. I'm gonna throw some icing on those. And then uh, what I'm gonna do now is actually start cleaning out the interior. I'm gonna pull this dash out so it's not in there, so I don't have to worry about spraying on that because it, uh, it was a good dash. I probably uh, should have pulled it out before I was welding in the car, but um, I guess I'll check it out. I'll clean it up and, and see if there's any burn spots on it, but I don't think there is. We'll see with that, um, pull that out. Then I could pull the engine bay wiring harness out, clean that out, pull this out, pull the fuse box out, um, probably pull the brake booster, the brake lines, and uh, what else? Um, probably pull these hood struts and just get everything, um, the padding right there, I'll pull that out as well and just get everything 100% stripped down, cleaned up. stripping all the stuff that was left in the interior of the charger out so the wiring harness out everything the carpet on the passenger side i need to now i, I pulled all the bolts everything from fabricating there's a bunch of scrap pieces of sheet metal this and that in there i need to get this thing all cleaned out so we can prime it so uh what i'm going to do now because i don't want a bunch of dust oh, i must have cut my hand but 
I don't want a bunch of this sanding dust or metal shavings or any of that blowing around when I'm priming it. So what I'm gonna do now is shop vac the whole interior of the car and uh, some things in the engine bay because there's some leaves and stuff up there behind that mat. So I'll vacuum all that stuff up on both sides. You can see it right there. Well, there's one of those clips. Cool. So um, yeah, so then tomorrow I could come prime the car, get it 100% primer. Everything is sanded down in 180 grit. Um, you know, the back upper rails is uh, in 80 grit. So when I re-sand it, I'm gonna block it in 180 once again, the high build primer. And uh, you know, we'll just go from there. I'll have to high build it one more time after that. But uh, once I prime it, I'm gonna let it sit. So all that primer soaks into the pores of the filler and just soaks into all of the sanding scratches just so I don't have any of that come up later on. And I can't wait to see it in primer. I'm actually, I really am happy how that that deck lid came out or the, the hatch slash deck lid came out. It just, just really flows well. I like how it kind of comes in on the side. It just really, it really flows with the shape of the charger, the shape of the Magnum hatch. Um, I don't think I could have done any better. So let's get to cleaning this interior out, vacuum it out. The inside of the car is now vacuumed out. Everything looks really good. It's still a little grimy. I'm gonna attend to that. Also over there, it has a little bit of surface rust. I'll also attend to that as well. So I'm really glad that the car is finally at the stage. It just has been a long road to get it here. And uh, I really didn't wanna cut corners. At the end of the day, I would have rather spent more and more time to make sure all everything lined up perfectly. I mean, if you look at the door gaps, door defender, Look how nice that is. Door to door, same. Door to quarter panel, same. Trunk, hatch, roof line. I mean, it's all there. It just takes a very long time. I think I spent two or three weeks just lining up the doors and the quarter panels. And I just, you know, I came back each day and I was like, no, it's not quite there until I got it exactly where I wanted it. So I'm really glad that we're at the stage we're at right now. And uh, the next stage is high build primer. So I can't wait to see this in high build primer because you can kind of see how nice the body lines are. But once it's all one color, it's just gonna really pop and uh, it's not even gonna be painted. So once it's painted, it's just gonna look amazing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna high build it, hopefully by Monday. I think Monday's video, I can have that video the high build primer video. Then after it's high build, after I shoot some high build on it, I'm gonna let sit 
let it shrink into all the sandy scratches, et cetera. And uh, I'll probably, you know, that over, over a week or two, I'm gonna let it sit. So in the meantime, while the primer is pretty much just sitting, just, uh, you know, primer shrinks, sitting, shrinking, I'm gonna start fabricating the all-wheel drive system for this. I have the Trackhawk um, 6.2 engine. I have the Trackhawk H 8HP 95 transmission, all the rear suspension components. So I wanna get this thing actually sitting where it needs to be and I need to build some subframes. So while the primer is setting up, I'm gonna build the subframes front and rear, get all the Trackhawk stuff in there and then we'll have it 100% ready to go by the time it gets painted we'll just bolt the brand new 426 in there and uh i might have the the 8 hp 95 built because i'm going to be around 13 1500 horsepower on this so i don't want to have any transmission issues i mean it will be a stock transmission so i can't just replace it if it blows up but uh, another thing why i want to do all this before i paint the car i want to finish the tranny tunnel so the transfer case sits right there if you haven't seen the videos the, uh, you know, I don't wanna be fabricating and welding after I paint the car. So while the primer's sitting up, I'll do all that stuff, get it ready. And by the time that stuff's done, which should be a week or two, I should be able to fabricate that stuff. And uh, then I could, you know, I'll block the primer out, shoot another coat of high build on it, um, then block it out in 320, seal it, and then we'll get some color on this thing. I can't wait to see all these body lines with a nice, fresh, glossy coat of frostbite blue. As you guys saw in the last video, that is a color choice for this car. And I think it, it's just spot on. So I'm gonna end the video here just because that's pretty much all I wanted to get done. And I don't wanna be dragging this on um, tonight. I don't wanna be super tired primer in this car. So Monday's video, I'm gonna try to get the primer video up Monday. And then we can just kind of work on the all-wheel drive system and all that other stuff. And then once I prime this car, I'll probably bring the wide body rear bumper. A lot of people were commenting about, I should make this thing a wide body. The quarter panels and the doors are wide body doors. I'm not exactly sure if people just don't pay attention, but uh, yeah, I do have a wide body rear bumper. I have all the wide body stuff for this car and uh, it will be a wide body. So that being said, you know, it, it's coming. Once I primer it, I'm gonna test fit the wide body rear bumper and then it's just gonna look super, super sexy. So. That's gonna be the end of this video. If you like these videos, make sure to click the subscribe button, throw a thumbs up, throw a comment below, share with your friends, whoever you think would like a track cock, all wheel drive, charger, station wagon. And as always, see you guys next time.